Hey everybody, it's 150 Gallade here, bringing you some more Pokemon Showdown Saturday. Now, last week we had a bunch of battles with the team we built the week before that. And since that team has had a lot of battles, we're gonna build a new team this week. And we're probably gonna and we're gonna be battling on what's probably the second most battled on tier, Yu Yu. So yeah, let's get right into things. Um why is that highlighted? I don't even know. But one thing that your team needs, well, it doesn't need it, but it probably would be good with it, that I did not explain in the last um, team building video, it's a defensive core. So we're going to do um, one of the more famous cores, Slowbro, though, is one of them. So basically, if you don't know what a defensive core is, there are two Pokemon that work well. Um, that two bulky Pokemon, one physically bulky and one specially bulky, that cover for each other's weaknesses. So, yeah. Um, Slowbro is going to be our physical wall. We're going to want to give him the Rocky Helmet, so your opponent will take damage by, um, doing physical moves. Um, so we're going to give him Regenerator, so that way when he switches out, um, they're going, he's going to get more HP back. So, anyway... For moves, we're going to want to give him Scald for that chance to burn, Fire Blast for that power, Slack Off um, for that recovery, and finally Psy Shock, because if you come across a special wall, well, you can still use your special attack stat, and you can take... do. Use the opponent's physical defense, so that's great for things like Amoongus and Blissey. So anyway, this is the set we want to give him. Bold, um, HP, defense, leftovers, and special attack. So yeah, that's Slowbro. Now, there are two core partners for him. Either, um, one of them, I'm going to, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to save it for a different video. But the most well-known one is... Amoongus. Yeah. So, anyway, for item, we're going to give him the Black Sludge, because, basically, for your special wall, you're going to want to give them the leftovers. But, since Amoongus is poison type, um, Black Sludge does the same thing as leftovers, unless you're the poison type. Um, if so, then, um, well, it recovers if you're po poison type. If you're not poison type, you lose HP. So, it's good for things like if your opponent tries to trick something onto you. So, yeah. We're gonna give him Regenerator, because I've already explained what it does. So, for moves, we're gonna give him Giga Drain to get some health back. Um, I'm trying to think. I can't. Why can't I remember the moves you give him? Um, oh yeah, Spore! How did I forget that? Spore. You can only do one if you follow smoke gun rules, which you have to if you play Showdown. But in game, who follows smoke gun rules? Really? Uh, smoke gun rules suck in my opinion. So yeah, if this is set, it's better for X and Y because no smoke gun rules. So then we're gonna give him hidden power ice, which is kind of hard to get in X and Y. So that's one advantage of using the match Showdown. If you're doing it in X and Y, where you don't really get to choose hidden power type. Um, use, um, Synthesis instead, and then Clear Smog or Sludge Bomb, um, to get rid of your opponent's status changes, and him Power Ice is for coverage. So, it's gonna say you wanna give him Eevees and Special Attack. No, you do not. You're gonna give him Eevees and HP, Special Defense, um, with a plus, and then we're gonna give a minus in Attack, so, calm, and then the Leftovers. Yeah. That's, that's Amoongus. So, now it's time that we get a Mega. And I think we're going to go with something fast, powerful, and has a wide move pool. Aerodactyl. So, we're going to give him the Aerodactylite. Um, the ability doesn't really matter. I'll just go with pressure. It doesn't matter with your Mega Pokemon, because it's going to get Tough Claws. So, anyway, um, for moves... We're going to want to give him Rock Slide or Stone Edge. I just like the Rock Slide because of, of that peepee. -pee. Um, Aerial Ace. 
Um, why did it put two in Aqua Tail for type coverage? Well, for here, like, and Crunch, you can do, like, and in these last two slots, you can do any type coverage move, maybe even Agility or Rock Polish. I don't know. So, we're going to make him Jolly, and then, yeah, these are the EV sets you want to give him. And there's a train coming by. Yes, I live by a train, so I'm going to pause it. So, yeah, the train's gone, and I have to um, move my thing. Sorry about that. Um, it's just the way my recording system works. So, yeah, and we're done with Aerodactyl. So, um, yeah, now we're going to give um, get some more coverage for our team, which is as elf. So, anyway, kind of we're going to want to give him leftovers because he's, um, actually, no, we give him life orb because he's fast. So, yeah, levitate. Um, and then we're going to give him combine for setup, psychic, um, for stab, and then we're just going to give him things for coverage, like fire blast, um, which you probably want to give because of that power, and then I like to do energy ball. So yeah, this is the set we want to give him. I personally like those leftovers to go in HP. Actually, wait, no, because of Combine, they should go in Special Defense. So yeah, Azelf was pretty quick. Now let's do something that I love in competitive play. And he's a new you, Trevenant. So yeah, um, let's just make him shiny, because if you watch my top 15 favorite shiny Pokemon, shiny Trevenant is beautiful. So anyway... Items we're gonna now. Most people want citrus berry, but I like to do chesto berry. Now we're gonna give him harvest. Um, so I don't know why I highlighted that, but 50% chance to, to this Pokemon berry is restored at the end of each turn, or 100% in the sun. It works well. It works better in the sun, but it works well even not in the sun. So yeah. For moves, um, I'm actually gonna make um an offensive Trevenant. I know what you're thinking. Woo! But I tried it. I love it. It's really good. So we're going to give him rest. And so basically, he'll be fully healed. And then he'll eat his pesto berry. And then he'll harvest it. It's so great. Then we're going to give him horn leech. Um, shadow claw. And earthquake. Now, if you want to know how to run the main bulky Trevenant set, you can probably just look up Trevenant sets on Google and you'll find it. So yeah, these are the EVs we want to give him. I like to do those leftovers in speed, just cause. So yeah, that's Trevenant. Also, I don't see why Executor's in NU, cause he's all about the same deal as Trevenant. I don't see why he's in NU, cause Trevenant's awesome. Why is Executor in NU? Oh well. So, now if you notice, we have two grass types. Now one Pokemon that can really benefit grass types is Forges. Wow, 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 wow. So I'm gonna make him uh, her shiny because I love shiny forges. Um, so for items, we're gonna want to give him her the leftovers. Now we're gonna give him flower veil. So basically, um, so um, if um forges and I'm pretty sure this is what it does. I'm not completely sure if as long as forges is not fainted. Um, any grass type Pokemon in your party, meaning Amoongus and Trevenant, cannot have their, um, uh, get, cannot get stats conditions. So, we're gonna want to give him that, her that, so that's why. So, I'm gonna do the classic floor to set Calm Mind, Moonblast, um, Energy Ball, and Psychic. Wow, 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 wow. I'm, like, mistyping today. So, yeah, we're going to want to give her, I personally like those Eevees in special defense. And, yeah, that's Forges. So, yeah, here is a quick look at our team. So, anyway, guys, I am going to find a battle, and, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I found a battle. Now, for me, we're going to want to lead with Aerodactyl because that type coverage and it's fast. So, yeah, and that was a bad lead. So, I think because of this Aggron, I want to go to something fighting or ground type. And... Earthquake! 
Trevenant, yes. Okay, so he's going to set up the stealth rock. I'm going to go for Earthquake. And I always like to have the timer on just because. Oh, swag. How, wait, why is that swag? How did he live that? And why did he... Is he choice? Is this a choice Agron with stealth rocks? That's really weird. Because choice, when you choice a Pokemon, you give them all out of offense. Okay, I, the shiny camera looks beautiful. I predict the fire move, so let's go to Slowbro. He's water type, which is awesome. Okay, that's not a fire move. I think they predicted the switch. And it's a special camera. Camera, um, if you look, um, it's physical attack and um, special attack um, are equal. See, um, a, wait, no, that's slightly it's my mistake. So, yeah, um, and it has 40 base speed, so it's a little, wow, the timer is just, wow. So, anyway, um, it's only weak to water and ground. I think we're just gonna slack off. Actually, wait, no, that's a bad move. I can... <sighs> that was a waste. Um, who do we go into? I think we'll actually... Trevenant's pretty bulky. Yeah, they. Wow. Okay, Snorlax, the big fatty, as I like to call him. Funny, because it's true. And we don't have any fighting types, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Aerodactyl and Stealth Rock Hurts. Wow, we are not looking good. I'm gonna rock slide and hopefully hit. Did it avoid it? I jinxed it by saying hopefully we hit. What? It avoided it again? Again? Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me right now? It avoided the rock slide twice in a row. It it has 90 accuracy. It won't. Oh, oh, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna lose. I said in previous video, in my, um, not last show on Saturday, but for 8-9-2014, I can only re- <laughs> Why did he do that? Why did he self-destruct a ghost? I- Wow! We're switch- Okay. It's pretty much GG. Yeah, it's GG. You have like no hope of winning. So yeah, that's it for Showdown Saturday, eight twenty three fourteen. So yeah, um, we had um a battle with the UU team. So. Yeah, um, this is 158 signing out. Stay awesome and goodbye.